there's my shoes. Oh, it's very cold. The things we do for them. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me doing, uh, or this is, oh, wow. I am way off today. Uh, this is day 20 of the May Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Hey, everybody. So just cutting in for a second. Um, I apparently recorded the video with the homepage of Lead Code instead of the code that you're seeing here to the to my right. Uh, so I am going to so I'm going to edit it together so that it you know uh, but you don't see me get to type the code. Um, but you, but I think most of I mean this is a relatively standard problem, so hopefully that's okay. Um, and I think what I say and describe it, um, it will kind of make sense. Uh, even though you don't see me type the code one by one. But kind of imagine that I did, I suppose. Uh, my apologies, and hopefully tomorrow we'll make it better. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Or go back to the video. Today's farm. I hope you enjoy my stream at the intro. This way, this way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, earlier, <laughs> hope that was not confusing. Uh, people have said my many quick in my videos, sometimes it's confusing. But uh, I'm still in Atlanta. That's the quick update. Uh, it's, Today I've been resting. Yesterday I drove 10 hours or so. Uh, that's a lot of driving. Uh, cost a lot of gas money as well. But uh, but now I'm okay. Now I am... Um, I spent a day resting, basically. Uh, and walking around the city um, and doing some culturally uh, important things. <laughs> like I said, it's still very tiring. Uh, mostly because the sun is really hot in here. It, I, you know, the, the, one of the nicknames is Hot Lanta, and now I see why. Anyway, just a quick update, because uh, so, you know you're here for the unique path. So let's look at unique paths sixty three. Um, seems like we're doing dynamic programming this week, maybe or at least two in a row. I don't. I have. I'm only guessing on the problem because of me glancing at this drawing. I didn't read the problem yet, so maybe I'm wrong. But but let's take a look together. Today's problem is unique paths two sixty three. So given an m by n grid. <clears throat> You want to go to top left to bottom right. Okay. Uh, is there a mod? Oh, okay. No, it's just that the answer will always be smaller. Um, okay. So there are two ways to do this. One is um, one is bottoms up and the other is top down. Um, like I said, it's going to be dynamic programming or memorization, depending how you want to solve this, right? Um, the thing that I would say, um, and, and I get a lot of questions on... Or, or maybe enough. Uh, did I, I don't know if I go over that yesterday, but I get a lot of questions about whether we should do it top down or bottoms up. Um, I think for most of the time, on problems that you know, uh, on the like, like if you are asking that question, I'm making some assumptions here. If you're asking that that question, perhaps you're you know still getting used to dynamic programming and memorization and stuff like that. Because um, if you're an expert, then you know you know when to use it, so you don't have to ask me. You're not asking me, right? Um, so if you are in that group, I want to say that for the most part, um, and for the most part, I mean like 90, 95% of the time, I would say it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have heard anecdotally that certain interviewers will want certain things and, you know, maybe you, you should get to a point where you, you, you're, oops, you're able to talk about it a little bit, but that said, um... Yeah, but that said, I do, like uh, as long as you're able to solve it, I, I I trust that you can do it the other way if you're given enough time and practice a little bit. But but yeah, because the focus is should be problem solving, right? And with this particular problem, it also doesn't matter because you have to visit every cell anyway. Um, so one one thing that comes up sometimes is that some problems are or some problems are harder to write bottoms up because all the states, um, uh, because not all the states have to be visited, right? Meaning that there are a lot of impossible states and if you're not super careful, um, or at least like, it's not easy. I mean, you could do it, but it's just we, at, at the end requires more work to write it in a way that ignores the unreachable states, right? Um, we talk about DAG a lot, uh, or at least like we talked about it yesterday, and I talk about DAG a lot in terms of dynamic programming and memorization and these, you know, if you draw it out as a graph problem, um, you know, you basically, 
the way that I think about it with dynamic programming is kind of uh, in two different ways, right? One is that what's top down. Well, top down is almost like um, what's it called? Dependency. Uh, well, top topological sorting, right? You have, if you are unfamiliar with topological sorting, please look at that a little bit. But topological sorting means that um, there are two ways to do topological sorting. One is kind of the depth research way, and the other one is the breadth research way. And I, I think in the way that I think about it, uh, in terms of trying to teach it, and if you're strong in topological so sorting, um, then um, yeah, that may be useful for you. The top down is basically asking. Uh, the way that I top down and breakfast or depth of search always answer is that okay, I I want to know the answer to this function right or this pro I call it this question or this problem. Uh, so I have, to, I have I have a question. I want to know the answer to it right. What things do I need to answer this question? And then I go out and I get that, and then I compose my answer. So that's top down right. Um, because it's recursive, you could do that recursively by asking itself and that, you know, sub problems and stuff like that. Um, prefer search, right? What is prefer search or, or dynamic programming or bottoms up, right? Or tabulation, if you, you know, there are a lot of names by it. Uh, it's a monster with many names. Uh, <laughs> no, then, and in that case, it's going, um, I mean, and, and so a core part of that for, for bottoms up is that, um, in many problems, you know how to resolve it in that way, but not all of them, right? And what I mean by that is that in that question, instead of asking, okay, I, I want to know the answer to this thing, this uh, question, what do I need to answer this question, right? And then the uh, bottom sub is all, the other way of, okay, I know the answer to this thing, let me now let other things that depend on knowing this answer know that I have the answer to this thing, right? Um, and in the topological sort, if you think about the breadth first search way, then, then it's almost, or the queue-based way, if you will, <clears throat> it's almost like saying, okay, I know that this thing has no dependencies, right? So let's do this thing. What is the next thing that depends on this thing um, let them know that uh, this thing that you depend on is done, and if they and then you process that if all the dependencies are gone, right? So that's basically the idea. And maybe I should draw a graph, but I I'm, I'm traveling right now, so my apologies. I don't have my my drawing thingy, but maybe I'll do a video on that um, in a little bit. Uh, definitely let me know in in um, yeah, let me let me know in in um. Uh, let me know in the comments. Sorry, I'm like allergy still. And, and those of you who are watching my videos will know that Atlanta has a lot of trees. But um, I got to stop rubbing my eyes too. But but yeah, um, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, oh yeah, leave a comment if if I should have a separate video for that. I should probably maybe I should create a playlist or at least like remind myself of things to kind of um, take a look at. Anyway, so all that said. In this problem, it doesn't matter because you have to look at every cell anyway. So um, I'm going to do it tops down because I think in general, it's more intuitive for people. Though this one, um, it's simple enough in a way that I urge you to do it uh, bottoms up. And bottoms up also has um, a thing which is also related to this topological sort type thing is that um, if, if you do things in the right order, you no longer when when you whenever you're done with something and you know you're done with something, you know that you don't need that data anymore, right? Because you already told all the dependencies that you're like, hey, uh, you know, I'm done. You can go now or whatever, right? Once you do that, then you don't you can just throw away the data. And in a way, that is how space optimization works, right? So there's that as well. Um, I also have a video on on going from top down to bottoms up to space optimization. So definitely check out that video. It's probably on one of my playlists, so definitely check that out. But um, also just add, leave it in the comments or come in the Discord for questions. Uh, okay, so that's it. That, let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's go. And then basically the idea we go is, okay, we want to say for a cell XY, for a cell XY, 
how many ways are there to get to bottom right, right? So that's basically how we're doing it. So oh, I was going to write all link. So now obstacle grid, C is equal to length of obstacle grid, zero. Uh, there's at least one, right? Okay. Um, and also the reason why I didn't look at constraint is that this is going to be linear time, linear space. Um, we'll, we'll do the proof in a second, um, but that's, Oh, and this is something that I, I, I put some focus on this yesterday. So hopefully you watch yesterday as well. Um, I, I think sometimes, and I don't do this. I don't, I haven't been doing a great job at this in my videos, to be frank, on dynamic programming, because, um, because I find it that for dynamic programming, um, I find it easier to, to, to do the complexity afterwards, because you can kind of see how it gets struck out. Um, but as a result of that, I, I definitely do a, a poor job of, um, I do a poor job of showing how I actually solve the problem a little bit sometimes, which is that I do the time complexity analysis first, right? And here in my mind, I go, okay, X can be zero to R, Y can be zero to C. Um, so the number of inputs is equal to O of R times C, right? Oops times C, right? Because that's just the number of inputs. Each input, um, and this is what, you know, what I do in my head, but sometimes I'm wrong at this stage, not gonna be, you know, um, sometimes I do get it wrong, but in my mind, uh, you know, I made up. So each input takes all of one time. So total t time is all of RC projected. So this is why I project. Like I said, I can be wrong when, once I type out the code. I mean, in this case is a little, you know, it's a, it's a standard-ish problem so yeah but but if it wasn't sometimes i am wrong on this and if you watch my contest uh videos uh some of them do get it wrong because you know like i i am wrong um so this is my uh thing and i go okay so this is fast enough so let me um uh let me write the code right um and also similar thing for space i'm not going to type it out so yeah Okay, so then now we could go with x is equal to r minus 1 and y is equal to c minus 1. Then we return 1 because from here, there's one way to get from itself to itself, basically. Otherwise, um, we go bottom. If x plus 1 is less than r, then, okay, total paths is equal to 0. Um, and then total paths is equal to, uh, oh, I did rocks. I forget about rocks. What do they say about rocks? 1? Obstacle is a one. Okay, so I missed something. Uh, is there an obstacle at the last cell? Mm, I guess it could be. Huh. So I, I guess we have to check that first. So if obstacle grid of x, y is equal to one, we return zero because if it if it if it's a doesn't matter where it is, but if that so that's a base case, which means that if there's an obstacle. There's no way to get there. That's it. You're, you went to the wrong place. So then now total paths, we added to count of x plus 1, y. Right? This means it goes down. That, so the, the number of ways to go to the end is it goes to the number of ways to go down. Or, you know, uh, same thing, but going to the right. Right? So that's basically it. And that's it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so this is mostly the answer. Of course, if you're astute and if you know, uh, you'll notice that I did not put in the memorization, which is pretty straightforward. Um, today, I'm feeling a little bit tired, to be honest. So sorry, friends. Check out my video from literally yesterday if you wanted this part. But basically, the idea here is that for every same input, we get the same output so we can just store it somewhere. I call it cache for that reason because I find it more intuitive to kind of understand. But... Um, or at least to explain, maybe. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this. But yeah, so then I have as cash is equal to a uh, force times R times C for da -da 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 -da. Uh, non times C for da -da 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 -da. and then now here um, we can just basically go okay if has cash of we have cash for this uh, this function at this point. Then we return cache of x, y. Uh, and then at the way end, we just cache it. Remember to write has cache. Oops. Oops. 
And that's pretty much it. Uh, so much typo in the last sentence. But uh, yeah, that's kind of run it. Hopefully I don't have any more typos or I, I forget something silly. Uh, and yeah, okay. Here we, can, we have some easier ways to generate like a big number. Oh, but the test cases are generated so it's smaller than this. So maybe it can be that big anyway. Um, well, it is what it is. Let's see how, if that one's fast enough. Right. It may not be a valid input because I, okay. I guess it is fine. 21, really? Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's give it some width then, and then hopefully this is good. Cool. Uh, yeah, 780 days. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, you know, especially if you like all this content and get on your feed or something. I don't know. Whatever people on YouTube say these days. You know me. I'm just here to chill. Anyway, uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Uh,